I was feeling like I was feeling like I wasn't gonna do anything, and then out of nowhere, yeah. I was cry. Why you gotta call me out for crying in the yeah. play? For no, that's good. I, you know, it's good for everyone to know that you're emotive. All the time, this shit's been passing. I don't know how shit just happened. All the time, it just been passing. I don't need it when. What were you saying? You no, I was saying that I, I was. Uh, I, I finished Madame yeah, Bovary you're this you week. Madame Bovary. Yeah, and uh, I think Andrew mentioned it on your the last pod you did, but. <clears throat> No, do you know anything about it? Not enough, dude. Not enough. No, and that and that's a funny book in like in like the fiction, auto fiction thing. Okay, cause, yeah. Because Flaubert's big famous line about it is that you know, Madame Bovary's me, right? You know, that's what he always. Okay, yeah, that, exactly. that was his big that's line. That's what Andrew was saying about the lesbian. Yeah, shit. yeah. But uh, no, that that's kind of funny. No, it's actually it's like funny in a yeah. You no, know, yeah, Madame Bovary. She marries this doctor. I mean, the book starts out. In like a classroom, and Charles Bovary pulls up to the class. He's a new student. Okay. He's out from the the sticks in fucking France, right? Yeah. He's like some country bumpkin. Yeah. And all the kids are laughing at him. He got a big dumb hat. And, you know, okay. he's just getting roasted. Okay. So you know, he's a pathetic fool from the first page. Yeah. They marry some lady, some widow, and she dies. And he's taking care. He's a doctor, right? He's taking care of this older dude. Okay. The older dude got this pretty young daughter, oh, and they okay. end up getting married, right? And it's and that's Madame Bovary. Yeah, it's Emma, right? It's Who's, Emma. And she's like, she gets intoxicated by all these, she's reading all these novels, and she got this big romantic idea, but she lives out in the countryside, mm. right? Mm. And, and so she don't got, you know, she's and she's with this guy who's yeah. lame, and, yeah. you know, she wishes he would make something of himself. And, you know, she starts having these little affairs mm. with some dudes. And then she, what really gets her in trouble is she starts buying a bunch of shit. Like, she starts oh, buying, wow. like, really nice curtains and all these shit. Oh, wow. And okay. there's this salesman kind of duping her mm. to buy this shit. And she gets in all sorts of crazy debt, right? And she, Damn. like, at the end of the book, she gets, you know, uh, you know, she's in debt to everybody. And she's going to, to all her old lovers. She's asking, like, you know, she's trying to fuck people for money almost. She's Damn. just so desperate because the guy doesn't even know. Like, her husband doesn't even know. He doesn't know she's having affairs. He doesn't know she's in debt. This is a goofy guy who moved to debt. Yeah, the Charles the doctor, Bovary. The doctor. The doctor. And she's duping him mm. completely, you know. And then she ends up. Scary, dude. Yeah, and then she ends up running to the pharmacist shop and eating a bunch of arsenic, you know. Okay. And and then, you know, as she's dying, she realized, oh, shit, you know, this doofy fucking pitiable guy was the only one who really loved me. You wow. know, he loved me. And then wow. it ends and she got a daughter the whole time. She's ignoring her daughter. And, Damn. you know, tragic. dude. It's tragic. But it's it's kind of like almost told in a it, there's definitely like an ironic, funny mm. tone to the whole thing. OK. OK. And the way she's like she desperately racks up all these debts is really crazy. Damn. You know, she really loves stuff. You just finished it. Yeah, just I finished it this week. In the so, Lydia Davis translation. Right? Ah, so that's interesting. That's also a suicide book. Yeah, yeah, Same true. With, uh, and it, yeah, yeah. Damn. And that's Karenina is after. How was the flow? Was it making you think anything? Yeah, it was. It was just like it's really like, uh, you know, they talk about his style all the time, right? You know, but it was like richly imagistic, right? Like everything was, you know, paragraph. This is what. Everything looked like those smells and everything and describing her outfit she's wearing perfectly. You know, the guy got had an eye for clothes yeah. for sure, you know. And and I was kinda like, damn, you know, that that's a I mean, I think that goes a little overboard sometimes. I don't like describing yeah. it all like that. Yeah. Even though it's, it's good to, to read and not, yeah. not I'm trying not not to, Yeah. But like having some of that mm -hmm. You know, is is pretty sick. Yeah. You know, just like building that up. You know, yeah. this is just what everything looks like. You know. Yeah. Nabokov, I finished Otter Arter. You did before that. Damn. And he he's on that same shit. You know, those books are in conversation. You know, that's not more modernist, or it's just Nabokov for sure. You okay. know, for sure more modernist, but he he's still does crazy descriptions. The, the descriptions are crazy. You know, yeah. they're a different style, but it's still crazy descriptions. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I was like, I feel like I never describe what anyone looks like. Yeah. You know? Interesting. Interesting. Damn, dude. Which is okay. I don't. And I honestly, I feel like when I'm reading. Yeah. I don't even like. I mean, I don't like picture nothing in my head when I see the right, descriptions. Right, right. right. Like it's almost like. Yeah, I don't. I don't right, know about right. you, but like it's not like I'm visualizing. Right. The scene. 
Right. Yeah. I know. I, I, go don't back pick, and, I go back and forth on that. I don't even know what I picture. You know, I got a friend who two two people I know can't they got aphantasia. They can't picture nothing in their head. Hmm. Right? And they ask me, What do you picture when you're you're reading? And right. I'm like, I don't I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um Damn. Yeah. Did you so she she's she's you are you on her side though or is um, she like a femme fatale kinda? I, I think that it's like you know I think a lot of people say she's unlikable or whatever like that, yeah. but I you know, I, I have sympathy for that. You know, she yeah. just got she got duped by the world. She got duped by the world's values. Okay. Right? You know, okay. that's what happened. And, you know, in the place of the salesman, I, those are just the world's values mm. duping her. I what, felt, what year are we talking? This is 1856. 1856. Yeah. Okay. It was his debut. Okay. It was a big scandal. Hmm. Why was it a scandal? Just because it was like, you know, she was sleeping around mm. and stuff like that. Just mm. lurid. I think, I think right. it was a big scandal. Right. He was a, I mean... There's some of that in in Compass talking about his letters and stuff where he he was a he was a big pervert yeah he was a little bit of a pervert he was definitely slept around slept with married women and yeah damn you know he was definitely yeah, a pervert I mean, we're all talking about yeah we're talking about <laughs> the extramarital I mean that's yeah that's what Mary McCarthy's all about that's what Andrew's books are kind of yeah. all about too yeah that was funny I just yeah I just broke it down to to damn uh, him being a sex writer yeah 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 um, that was were you thinking about Faulkner at all or was I thinking about Faulkner? Yeah. I'm always thinking about. I was thinking about Faulkner because <laughs> yeah. you know today's. Okay, yeah, okay, go okay, ahead. Yeah, let me. Just, yeah, <laughs> I just, I, I just want to tell you some things. No, but not now. Yeah. I'm a little bit. I'm like, is this too no, esoteric just, for for the people? You know, yeah. What I'm saying? If it's too esoteric, I mean, well, yeah. you know, this can go. Okay, up well, here's in the some. So, yeah, I guess some of the wild things. Well, first of all, you know, we're in. We're currently right in the middle of the Sound of the Fury weekend. Yeah, which is kind of wild. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because Sound of the Fury is just three days. In in, in twenty nineteen twenty eight, it's uh, it's uh, Easter weekend is April six seven eight, and today's damn April six. Yeah. and there's an eclipse tomorrow. Okay, get this, bro. But Quentin's on the wrong day. Quentin's on Thursday. He's on Thursday, but it's not it's in not. the weekend. It's in June. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's I think a that's ran- important. It's, it's a random. I think Thursday. that's important. Oh, why? Okay, no, but you go first. I thought it was Ascension Thursday. I was looking. Yeah. Oh, that day in June? But it's not. No. No, I'll tell you why it's... But it connects but, to Absalom. Yeah. Nah. Okay, oh, that too, day? We can't okay, too yeah, nerd yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we can't too nerd <laughs> it ahead. out. No, no, but, uh, but uh, that's just... I mean, that's just wild that it's the same time. Also, the eclipse tomorrow... Like another thing that was blowing my mind. Also, Benji's thirty three. Like I went back, started like yeah. to reading from the beginning. Oh, you're in your basically, Benji year. Yeah. yeah. So basically, yeah, I'm in my Benji year right now, and then, um, um, yeah, basically, I, I mean, I just read the Quentin chapter super slow, and it was, it was the first time that, it, you know, I literally have three physical versions. Yeah. And I've read them all like marginalia really hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. And so this is literally the third time. So it's like, and this time, I, nothing was going past me. Yeah. It was super good, gl- yeah, you know. Yeah. Like the book actually makes total sense. Yeah, for sure. Looking. But you gotta, you, you gotta, gotta hit you it. Gotta, you gotta times. hit it a few yeah. times. But the Quentin chapter, yeah. I, so I, I, I had my whole thing about, uh, um, you know, the epiphany that the Quentin chapter is actually is like, it's like Monday Thursday yeah, kind yeah. of. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. It's like the Thursday night because I've been reading. But here, here, here's another thing, dude. Yeah. Like, um, you know, like I, 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 another epiphany I had was that like it's about to be eclipsed tomorrow. Yeah. Right, and what does that mean? Well, so after Maundy Thursday, yeah, like Jesus, Jesus goes out after after the Passover supper, right, and he's held all night and um, persecuted by different people. Then at noon, the sky clouds over. Oh, because yeah, an eclipse yeah. is happening. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solar eclipse, and he gets he gets nailed at at noon. Yeah, and then at three p.m. he dies. Yeah. But but there's n- eclipses aren't that often. No. Why is there an eclipse right now? Like, yeah. and it's the vernal new moon. And what's this is the, why I can't yeah. say this. <laughs> what this is, is why it? I can't talk too much on the track. <laughs> no, it's just no, yeah. It's just why. Well, it's just wild because, um, yeah, I'm Benji for real, dude. I'm 33, yeah. dude. What is the vernal new moon? Well, the vernal full moon. Yeah. Is what determines Passover. Oh shit. And Easter. Yeah, yeah. So the first full moon of spring. Yeah. Right. The first Sunday after is Easter. Oh. And right? Yeah, yeah. 
So but the new this, moon's right this after. This eclipse is happening on the new moon tomorrow. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. I'm just saying, dude. Yeah. Wow, it's connected. 33, 33. You know that. It's because it's, it's about me. It's because yeah. I'm 33, you know? You you know that's. Do you remember, I don't know, when we were at the Sound of the Fury for McDonald's class, I, I had an epiphany that dude. was, uh, uh, the it was a four, not only it was a, it's the Gospels, right? But it was every one of the characters that get a chapter is like a version of a failed Christ figure. The whole oh, thing they're is all Christ figures. They're all Christ figures, failed Christ figures, right? And I was trying to find the email I sent you because I know I snapped off on, on something, but I couldn't find oh, it. Oh wow, wow! And the reason is so we get Benji is on Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. he can't be the savior because he's sealed up. In the tomb, he can't talk, right? He's 33. He got everything to be the savior. He's 33, but he can't talk. He's sealed up in the tomb. Okay. Right? Yeah. Quentin is, you know, he actually dies, but At the end it's of the on night. the wrong day, right? Why it's is it on the wrong day? It's in June, right? right? It's right, out right. of the Easter cycle. Right, right. There, there's I, there's definitely another reason why he can't be Christ. No, I don't know. Because no, Quentin is the, Quentin's the only one who gets a resurrection in the book. Quentin listen, gets a resurrection. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. tell me about yeah, Quentin. Quentin gets a res- Yeah, so, he does. So like so like Maundy like Yeah, Maundy Thursday it's all about going out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, going going out past when you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what you know, you're not supposed to go out at night or whatever. He goes yeah. out and then he he gets uh the theory I was reading, you know, I was reading that Emil Bach book, you know, yeah, about the three about years, the three years reading the Gospels, and he's, you know, the the main tri- trifecta drama yeah. of Maundy Thursday is between Mary Magdalene, Jesus, and Judas. Okay, did I spit this to you already? Uh, a, little a little bit, bit but, but yeah, let me say it because yeah. it's like so basically like, and and the way Emil Bach's reading it is like all three of them are kind of in all of us. Okay, you know, yeah, and, and Maundy Thursday is, I mean, it's also, you know, it's the Thursday right around. The vernal, the vernal uh, full moon. Yeah. Just anyway, but um, so basically, um, yeah, Jesus forgives Mary Magdalene, right? And then there's a whole thing with the perfume. Yeah. And she pours a perfume. Yeah. On she his feet, washes his feet. Right. With the perfume, and then Judas gets all upset that Mary Magdalene wasted all. Yeah. You know, you know but he's being a little bit like Jason a little yeah. bit. You know what I mean? J C. Jason Thompson. Wow. <laughs> right so jason oh so jason is, uh, and he he gets see, the cruci- I'm still reading that jason one. gets the crucifixion day friday he gets a friday but i thought okay so so basically um then that whole chapter with with quentin right like there's like like the sin of I don't know, there's just so much smells. I thought the honeysuckle was yeah. like the perfume. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, he, and this, he keeps smelling the thing, and then like, and then like, um, and then like, you know, then all night Jesus is being um, held. Yeah. And questioned. Yeah. Oh right? yeah, yeah. So basically, the part the the, the, the ch- part of the Quentin chapter. So Quentin's yeah, it's just one day. Oh, on Quentin's Thursday. getting questioned because he's uh, getting questioned because he talks a little, to a little girl. girl. Yeah, yeah. And you know, damn Julio, <laughs> yeah. damn her dad. Yeah. You know, and the cops are like are, are questioning him. Yeah, you know? and he's like, and then he has to give like, like a uh, a uh, coin, you know, five dollars yeah. to yeah, because he had to leave work to because yeah, he's with this little girl and uh, he keeps getting hit with the flashbacks of Caddy because he's you know trying I mean? to save her innocence, right? Because you know the scene that it keeps going back to is Caddy. They're up on the tree seeing their grandma's funeral, right? Everyone's out of the yeah. house. The grandma's dead, and yeah. they climb up the tree to see it, and he sees Caddy's underwear, right. and it's muddy. Right. From from the you know she got muddy underwear. I mean I think some yeah some happened because yeah. she she has a, like when I was reading this time like he he he's with the little girl and he keeps getting hit with memories of being with Caddy yeah and it seems like she was pregnant but then was gonna marry someone yeah she was good she married that guy who was from I forget the guy's name Dalton names yeah Dalton names who's yeah. who's from uh, French Lick Indiana right right where, where Larry right. Bird's from yeah, that's, that's where, from uh, who's from Larry Bird's from there. Larry Bird's from yeah, yeah you ain't right. never had a sister dude yeah um, and then but basically yeah you ain't never, you had, never a had a sister <laughs> and they're like he's like what happened he's like I don't know dude he just last thing I heard was he said you said and you know yeah. you ain't never had a sister you spazzed out yeah. but then he's like with the he's with the no other, but Dalton doesn't marry her it's a, the other guy 
the other guy. The so guy from Indiana. Dalton Ainge yeah, is exactly, from Indiana. Exactly. Right? That's what I thought. I started getting yeah. confused when Dalton started leaking in. But, you know, then he's like with the little girl. And then yeah. like, and one time yeah, the he's, other guy he's raises on the bridge. Caddy gets pregnant and the other guy raises it, I think. She gets married off to another guy because Dalton don't want it. Right, but I think he, he, because at the end he's like, father, I committed incest. Yeah, but you, yeah, yeah but and they're roll, they're rolling. They're, 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 oh, you think he yeah. actually did something? Yeah. Oh damn. You got to read it close, yeah, dude. Yeah. There's a couple oh, parts that's pretty clear. I always thought my my reading was, you know, I was trying to like, but you know, you know, go. Everyone says it's an incest, and I'm like trying to like, no, it's a metaphorical incest. You well, know, dude, I mean, but but he's I and mean, he doesn't, dude. That's another thing, like the Absalom part. Yeah. I was reading that, like you know yeah. what that story's about. Like Absalom kills. Oh um, yeah, because it's same thing. Like he, they're both sisters. They're all sister siblings. Yeah. And it's Tamara. Oh, or, or Tamara. Oh, Absalom got a sister. Yeah, I I, I could pull it up, but yeah, basically, yeah, sister. <laughs> but basically, yeah, like um, this other dude, yeah, like rape, rapes yeah. his sister. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in the Absalom yeah, story. In the Absalom oh. story. So he's kind of telling, retelling telling yeah. biblical stuff, but and you were saying Absalom's the the Old Testament and uh, sound of the that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I was think thinking. that's right. But basically, um, yeah, he's getting questioned all night, and then at the end, he jumps off the bridge. Yeah, you know, and that bridge, and and then while he's uh, on the bridge initially, there's like these three boys, and they have the whole thing with the fishing pole. Yeah, you remember that? True. Where it's yeah. like, yeah, twenty five, you had twenty five dollars. Like, would you take the fishing pole or would you take the twenty five dollars? Yeah. Like, I I take the twenty five dollars. Damn, but in the fishing, right? Fish, yeah, fisher, fish, you know, yeah, that's exactly, Jesus stuff exactly too. the whole exactly. book is Christed out to the extreme. But I guess the three forces inside us is like there's like the Mary Magdalene who's like being oh, forgiven okay. for her sins, Jesus who knows he's gonna go out and he's gonna be sacrificed at the end. Yeah. He's gonna be killed at the end. He still goes out nonetheless, which is according to like Mill Bach, that's the most powerful day because that's the most powerful act in human history. Yeah. Because it's like complete, uh, complete infinite love, which yeah. really what Jesus is, should be about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, complete love for everybody. And then Judas is the one who's like all like, you know, uh, uh, he's kind of he's kind of being he's damn yeah. Jason, he's like you know he's upset about him forgiving Mary Magdalene and he, you know he betrays you yeah know, betrays her and stuff like that. And then um. And then, yeah, I guess I thought, and then, you know, he's, so then he, he dies at the end, right? Yeah. And then that's, that's, that's Thursday, which I never fit into it. And then, and then Holy Saturday, which is technically today, April yeah. 7th, the Benji chapter, he's 33. He's damn, um, yeah, that's he's the sealed Saturday. Up in the he's tomb. in the tomb. Yeah. So it's completely nonverbal. And then I start, just started the Friday. Well, I was thinking the Friday was like, you know, cause Jesus is, uh, who's he getting, um, interrogated by Pontius Pilate yeah Pontius Pilate but who above that Caesar oh yeah right so like the so then and and they're like they're saying he's he's um he's um um you know creating yeah going against the the like that's that who Caesar is like I thought Caesar was like Jason like controlling controlling oh, everybody with like their money with and the that, money and but but that's a Judas thing too right that that money the greedy thing yeah the greedy that's thing that's what I'm saying yeah did he betray? Did it was there? Is there any Judas reading of Jason? Like, did he? Well, I, I well, just I just started that one, dude. Yeah, yeah. I just well, started. That's April sixth. No. I was reading them like synced up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's such a funny transition when you finish Quinn chapter. Yeah. And it's like once that, a that bitch, always so a bitch. So crazy. Dude. That yeah. book's so crazy. But then crazy. of course, little. That's Quintus, how it starts. Once a bitch, always yes. a bitch. <laughs> but listen, listen. Once um, so funny, Yo. dude. Like he's snapping, dude. That first yeah, page. He's crazy. I was on the pl- I was on the train reading the first page of the Jason chapter, yeah. and I was like, damn, you're covering yeah. like just like the, <laughs> the fucking ends and the. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah, dude. yeah. I was like, you're talking like I can't. Even, this is like dangerous, dude. I was hiding it, but um, but um. Yeah, and then of course, like you know, I thought like it's unclear who, because Caddy's already pregnant. He's like, you can't marry; you're already pregnant. Yeah, and you know, and he says, "Father, I've committed incest." Wow, you think he and knocked then, her up? That's and then crazy. Quentin is the daughter of that little Quentin. Oh, that's oh, because Caddy leaves her behind. Yeah. Oh shit! So it's like literally the offspring of Quentin, possibly, oh, that, possibly. And then she, she's, she is. Yeah. He he but, dies but, and but she I, resurrects. I I thought a big on Sunday. I thought a big part of uh, Quentin's frustration is that uh, Caddy doesn't want anything with him. You want me to pull up the parts, bro? Well, if you, if you could, <laughs> <laughs> there's some there there there's some dialogue. Yeah. You know, maybe it's just my my fucking. My my yeah, my, my perverted ma- ass reading it like that, but no. And at the end, he explicitly says, "Father, yeah. uh, you know, I've committed incest." You know that that was, you know, I imagined. Uh, I know there's one 
scene. Should I rip that Absalom part? Where too? where Should he uh, books. <laughs> maybe give it a little time. Quentin is thinking. <laughs> yeah, this this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but Quentin. So I always associated with like. Uh, uh, Lear and Cordelia is how I thought of Quentin and. That's the same when I was out. I was like, Quentin's just Hamlet, and I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah, because why? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Did, there's oh, just yeah. Lear and Cordelia. Yeah, yeah Lear okay. and Cordelia. Because yeah. I mean, that's kind of a weird like father daughter, you right, know. Right. Right. Uh, but you know, but he's not father daughter. I gotta read that Absalom bit to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, it's literally explicitly what happens. Yeah. But I but I just always associate because there's one mm. scene where uh, Quentin's thinking about. Him and Caddy in hell together, away from everything like that. And, you know, there's a line in, there's a passage in Lear when Lear is late in the book, you know. Okay. Uh, w- thinking about him and Cordelia alone together, away yeah. from everyone else, yeah. like, and they're finally yeah. free because they yeah. can be alone. And, you know, that's once Cordelia is dead, right? Right. But but read the Absalom part. If you oh, yeah. It, well, yeah. it's just crazy. I mean, you know, it's Samuel, it's Samuel 14 something that he's referencing. Yeah. Um, it's David's son, right? King it's David's David, son. It's King David's son, yeah. And I think it's his punishment for uh, getting that guy's that that woman's husband killed. You know that that story of David. That comes later in the story, though. Oh, it's later. I, I think. Dude, yeah. Because I, I remember you telling me that. I always thought it was his. And then, and I was looking. At but that. I never read Samuel all the way through. Yeah, I got to read Samuel all the way through. But it's uh, basically. Uh, um, no, we're bit back before this, dude. Just Bible studies on fucking yeah. s- on Sunday, dude. <laughs> well, it is Sunday. It's appropriate, dude. This it's eclipse, a, dude. This is wild. The pre eclipse. The, the, the fucking. Um. No, yeah, and I guess it might have more to do with uh, Absalom, but yeah. No, but, I mean those books got everything to do with each other. Yeah, exactly. Absalom but it's it's Amnon. Cool. It's Amnon and Tamar, and then Absalom kills Amnon for this. Oh, okay. But basically, it's like um. Yeah, Amnon, son of David, fell in love with Tamar, the beautiful sister of Absalom, mm. son of David. Oh, okay. okay. This, this, dude, this is crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah. This is just, this is what... Yeah. Amnon became so obsessed with his sister, Tamar, that he made himself ill. She was a virgin, and it seemed impossible for him to do anything to her. Now, um, now Amnon had an advisor named Jonadab, <laughs> son of Shimea, David's brother. Jonah was a very shrewd man. He said to, he says, he says to Amnon, he goes, what do I do? I'm obsessed with, this, with Absalom's sister. Yeah. Right? And then he goes, um, why do you, king's son, look so haggard this, you know, this morning? Why do you look so fuck? you know, w- w- won't you tell me? And Amnon goes, I'm in love with Tamar, my brother a- Absalom's sister. Go to bed and pretend to be ill, he says to him. When your father comes to see you, say to him, I would like my sister Tam- Tamar to come and give me something to eat. Oh, my God. Let her prepare the food in my sight so I may watch her and then eat from her hand. Yeah. Shiesty ass. Yeah. Dude, what the <laughs> hell? What kind of fucking yeah. date rape <laughs> techniques is this, dude? <laughs> Go to bed and pretend to be ill, dude? So Amnon lay down and pretended to be ill. The repetition, nice repetition there. Yeah. Very. <laughs> when, the king came to, when the king came to see him, Amnon, Amnon said, I would like my sister Tamar <laughs> to come and make, make some special bread in my sight so yeah. I may eat from her hand. Ooh. David sent to send word to Tamar. <laughs> Chill, bro. You got to see what's about to happen. David sent word to Tamar at the palace. Go, go, uh, uh, go to the house of your brother Amnon and prepare some food for him. That's what there's a yeah. very like just sound and fury vibes yeah. here. So Tamar went to the house of her brother Amnon, who was lying down. She took some dough, kneaded it, made the bread in his sight, and baked it. Nice. <laughs> then she took the pan and served him the bread, but he refused to eat. Send everyone out of here, Amnon said. So everyone left him. Then Amnon said to, to, to Tamar, bring the food here into my bedroom so I may eat from your hand. And Tamar took the bread and she had prepared that she that she, she had prepared and brought it to her brother Amnon in his bedroom. But when she took when she took it uh, to him to eat, he grabbed her and said, come to bed with me, my sister. Oh, dude, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> like, this is what yeah. I think this is what Focky's doing. Yeah. He's not. He's not. And she goes, no, my brother. <laughs> she said to him. <laughs> Don't force me. Yeah. Such a thing should not be done in Israel. Don't do this wicked thing. Wow. What about me? Where could I get rid of my disgrace? And what about you? You would like to be one of the, uh, you would like to be one of the wicked fools in Israel. Please speak to the king. He will not keep me from being married to you. She's basically saying, "We get married." Yeah. But he refused to listen to her. And since he was stronger than she, he raped her. Oh, my God. Is dude, that what it says? Is, is that, I'm reading <laughs> oh it verbatim, God. dude. Then Amnon hated her with intense hatred. 
Oh my Dude, god. This is yeah. oh, this is this is like, That's like Joe He Christmas was blackout. Too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuckner's blackout and he's reading this and he's like <laughs> Okay. He's like uh, some I, I got to figure out what yeah. this is all about. So he he listen, dude, and he goes um um yeah, then he hated her with intense hatred. In fact, he hated her more than he had loved her. Amnon said to her, "Get up and get out." <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Yeah. I was reading this other day, like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, she said to him. Sending me away would be a greater wrong than what you've already done to me. Yeah, now she wants to stay. <laughs> <laughs> you better chill, bro. <laughs> but he refused to listen to her. He called his personal servant and said, "Get." he called his personal servant and said, get this woman out of my sight and bolt the door after her. Wow. <laughs> he's like future. Dude, yeah. he's like future for real, dude. <laughs> So his servant put her out and bolted the door after her. She was wearing an ornate robe. Wow. For this was the kind of Close. garment. It was like Flaubert. Yeah, the virgin daughter, daughters of the king wore. Whoa. Tamar put ashes. Oh, shit. She got to put a different robe on now. Different dress, dude. Oh, dress shit. All, all wet. And, when the, and then they, they oh, run shit. back. Oh, shit. dress Caddy's dress is getting all wet. And they're wrestling around. And oh, shit. Wow. You're, okay, you might be on this yeah. down. And then, and then what's, what the craziest part is when they... He's walking around with the little girl he meets. Yeah. Clinton is. He, he gets off the train. Once he gets off the train, yeah, it's a be- it's in that stretch with walking around with the little yeah. girl and he's getting hit with all the memories. Yeah. It's fucking most. Yeah. But basically, then he runs back into the kids, um, who are fishing. Yeah. And she's like in the water. Then like he right before he gets caught, they're yeah. like in the river for some yeah. reason. And he's getting flashbacks to yeah, Caddy. Yeah. So his her her got, she has to get a new robe, mm-hmm. right? And then it goes, um, Tamar put ashes on her head and tore the ornate robe she was wearing. Wow. Torn The torn dress. Yeah. She put her hands on her head and went away, weeping aloud as she went. Then it goes, her brother Absalom said to her, has that Amnon, your brother, been with you? That's Absalom. Says. Yeah. Be quiet for now, my sister. He is your brother. Don't take this thing to heart. And Tamar lived in her brother at Absalom's house, a desolate woman. And then it goes, when King David heard all this, he was furious. And Absalom never said a word to Amnon, either good or bad. He hated Amnon because he had disgraced his sister Tamar. And the next part is called Absalom Kills Amnon. Wow. Yeah. Wow, the Bible's crazy. The Bible's crazy, <laughs> dude. So, and then it goes into Absalom. Yeah, I, 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 I was so blown away by it. So yeah. That's just 13. That's 13 up to 22. Yeah. 1 through 22. Wow. Of Samuel 2. You know that that's and then uh, Absalom returns to Jerusalem. That he's yeah. gonna return home. Wow, isn't that Jesus returning in Jerusalem? Like yeah, Holy Week, right? You know, you know, uh, Ada or Arder, the Nabokov is is into that stuff too, right? Yeah, I mean, There's a I lot think, of sister stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that is like, it's almost. I think Nabokov might be. Playing off the sound of the fury with that. Yeah, he's playing off sound of the fury, talking he, shit about. Sound yeah, he talk, fury. Yeah, well, he does the same thing about Finnegan's Wake, and he's playing off that. So I think he's, you know. Yeah, he's trying to throw him off I the did, scent. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah, that's funny. I was reading something. There's some sister incest. It's all about sister yeah. incest stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, but <laughs> that that's funny. I was like, just just to briefly digress. I I was reading something. Um, some article, I was like looking up stuff after I finished in the Barkov. I was yeah. reading some art, someone talking shit about him saying he was like, oh, he was a rude man because he was, because the way he talked about other writers and shit. Mm. But I think that was all like a pose, like, uh, you know, just a public pose. Yeah, he was just stunting, on, dude. Yeah, yeah. That was the funniest part when I was talking to Andrew, yeah. like when writers just get to a certain phase where they just spit in riddles all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was He's funny. just trying to spit yeah. riddles on, on the people, dude. Yeah, it's just riddles. Yeah. It's just yeah. riddles. And that, it's kind of fun. That, that, it's it's kind of good fun but back it, then. Some, some sparring. Yeah, that biblical stuff is interesting, though. And you, like we've been talking about lately, just like from that guy downport or whatever, like yeah, going yeah. back to to the archaic. Exactly. Like the, I mean, that's Faulkner's doing that all the time, right? He's doing to the point where like, I got to understand why. Yeah, that's that's probably one of the driving forces of yeah. me to think of it in that context, right? Because yeah. you just know he's retelling old stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, well, that's crazy, right? But okay, so we got Quentin, Benji. They they aren't our Christ, right? Or no, Ben. They're they're Christ on the different days. Benji's Christ yeah. on on Holy Saturday. But they're not the Savior. That that's what I always thought of it. Of they're Christ that didn't save. They're failed Christ, hmm. right? Because the whole thing. Well, but, now now it might but, be. But but yeah, go ahead. I mean, because the only what, thing Benji's, but. It, being a Christ-like figure is to is to know you're gonna 
be fail okay. and and yeah. you walk in with love with love dude yeah that's interesting right but and then but, the resurrection comes out with somebody like the incest daughter like i yeah. just think that symbol is but, okay. so beautiful dude. yeah the yeah i mean the resurrection the i think that's quentin. the i think that's the best that's one of the best Quint, scenes quentin ever Lee, when yeah. quentin quentin little quentin but yeah Girl. little quentin when she flees on easter, on easter morning yeah on the sunday right no, i thought jason was like was represented like the damn the state kind of yeah, I mean, he's definitely like that a little yeah, bit, but it, I think he might have some Judas to- shit okay, yeah. to him, too. Yeah. But Quentin leaves, and she gets her own salvation. Like, the salvation for the family is the fact that Quentin, she broke the, the whole Compson okay. cycle of yeah. destruction, but left on her own. Right. She right. free doing her own thing. Right. Everyone else is stuck right. with the, the faulty Christ, the Christ that don't Christ. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole point of Christ is salvation, right? Without the salvation, like, the resurrection is null, the crucifixion don't mean anything, without the the salvific aspect, right? But how do you say, how, how, how does that happen? How does salvation happen? What do, you, what do you mean? I guess I just see it as like... Yeah, I guess she she's, she completes the 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 week. She completes. Yeah, the, she completes it, but for week. herself. Okay. In a certain way, like in a certain way, especially the dead Quentin is redeemed because Quentin lives on and he's free to do. Because it's okay, Quentin dying that allows yeah. her to re- resurrect. Yeah, for sure. So right? yeah, there's a, there's a very specific salvation. Benji gets left behind. He gets shut up in the asylum. He's in the tomb forever at the end, mm-hmm. right? That's that's what happens right, to right. him. Because he was grabbing the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these these comments. That's what I'm saying. Grabbing that's girls. A, yeah, that's what I'm out saying. Of control. And Jason's. I, I, yeah. Jason's. You know, he lost his money. He's stuck. You know, JC. He's he's on the cross forever. Right. right? Benji's right. in the tomb forever. Right. Jason's on the cross forever. And then we got Dilsey, who, in my mind, it was always like that's the only third person. You know, in the book, right? It goes first person, first person, right, right, first right. person, third person, right. and that was always like that. That's why Dilsey, you, that that's Faulkner's own failure. He can't go the first person of the, you know, the person mm-hmm. with unconditional love for the whole family, right? Dilsey Damn. or whatever, you know, Damn. he can't make that leap. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so that's why that's a failure of okay. salvation. There, okay. you know, it, if he could have made that leap to imagine her first person, you know, that would have been uh, he. You know, well, he would have been saved. Would you yeah, say? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That, that's just what I was taught. Like you know, right. Faulkner can't. You know, he knows it in himself almost. Right. You know. I mean, I think I, I, I'm simultaneously trying to understand the gospel story as I try to understand this story. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it is gospel. Give, give me a beer. Because it is a god. It's for right. You know. I mean, it's it's and it's Christed out. Like it's the gospels for sure. Thanks. What'd you grab? Yeah. You grabbing? Just to sound inferior, but oh. you know, well, it's also you know, it's also, yeah, it's it's the gospels, but it's also just you know, just Easter. It's Easter weekend. I don't know. I think there's, yeah, I feel like. Um, and they finally go to church in the Dilsey section, right? And they hear the preacher. Okay. And what the fuck does the preacher say? You know, Fal- yeah, I didn't I mean, get Fal- that far. This Faulkner video. dialects that part the fuck up. Yeah. You know, he. I think I think they take Quentin to church, or no, they take um. Benji to church. Dilsey does. We're in that right now. Too. They go with okay, the yeah. with luster and all them. Yeah. And what the fuck does the the preacher say? I, and Dilsey goes, I see, I see, I saw the beginning and the end. Right, she saw the beginning and the end of the Compson family. This damn. is the end, but Quentin gets away and she's saved. Damn, damn. Yeah, dude. And then it ends. What What's the last lines? The last lines is uh, Ben's voice roared and roared. Queenie moved again. Her feet began to clop, clop steadily again. And at once Ben hushed. Luster looked quickly back over his shoulder. Then he drove on. The broken flower drooped over Ben's fist. And his eyes were empty and blue and serene again as cornice and facade flowed smoothly once more from left to right. Post and tree, window and doorway and signboard. Each in its ordered place. Each in its ordered place is the end. But dude, I mean, and and what what? That's funny because it's such a chaotic book. Yeah, Weinstein's book was just, yeah. I mean, the end of the end of uh, the Quentin part, right on. It ends on two two two. Yeah. Um, the flashback to when, yeah, it's just. Uh, see, see, that's one thing. Like thinking about the sound of the fury, thinking about um. Like Madame Bovary, even j- right. just on a different uh, right. 
note, just like how, you know, I think people got a, an idea of these books as these dusty, boring things in a certain way. But like one, like Madame Bovary is full of drama and happenings the whole time. And, right. and the sound of the fury is too. Like it's full of mm -hmm. like drama and happenings the whole time. Like that, you know, right. it's to make a great work of literature, you need fucking shit to happen. True. Like dramatic shit to True. happen True. all the time. You know, that's a big part of it. Yeah. You know, it's not like boring and you know, fucking whatever, like a, dusty tome you but know what i'm saying is bovary like that yeah it's okay. real dramatic the whole time you know it's it's fast paced in that way this is what uh weinstein always talks about where he goes uh you know this is right before he's a he finally pays off pays off the damn uh the policeman and yeah. julio the damn immigrant dad that yeah. little girl who yeah didn't speak english he was feeding bread and running around the the water with I mean, dude, the, the sis yeah, so much sister stuff, yeah. dude. But basically, Falker yeah. who did not have a sister. Yeah, and I... Te and, <laughs> yeah, but let no man prescribe for another man's well-being. And I temporary... Te temporary. Temporary is the saddest word of all. Temporary is the saddest, saddest word, word of, of all. all. And there is nothing else in the world. It's not despair until time. It's not even time until it was. It's not even time until it was. Wow, it's see like that the whole thing's about past. time everything's too. Already, yeah, that's Bible Wh which is about. It's like it's like looking back. Yeah. It's like everything. Yeah, it's not even time until until it was. It's, yeah. Everything's already passed. Temperate, you know. That see that's the is the saddest word. Dude. You know that's that that last Nabokov's all all on that too. He he's is definitely it? he's definitely thinking about the sound of fury. Definitely, There's no dude. way. There's, There's no, no way. way he's not. But. Uh, yeah, I think Nabokov's jealous that Faulkner is such an American writer. Dude, He's a, I you mean, know. Faulkner's, yeah, but, Faulkner's So, yeah, that Quentin shit's all about time, too. But I, but I still think, like, I think that that the, him knocking up Caddy is an interesting reading. But I, I, I really do think of Quentin as Lear. The first time I read it. Yeah. And his attitude toward these girls as, like, I think he's the mad, he's like a mad old man in a lot of ways. Because, okay. you know, Faulkner says he came up with, Caddy thinking about, uh, just imagine a fucking daughter that, or his daughter was just born or something like that. He he's thinking of this in father's daughter shit. Right, I think right. you know. So I think uh, he thinks of it as Lear, but it it also could be he knocked. Yeah, up, he, you know he he. What what's the dude's name in the Bible? Absalom's yeah, brother. Yeah, Amron, Amron or something <laughs> like that. Um, Cameron. Yeah. Did you ever have? Did you ever sister have a sister? Yeah. Did you? No, and that, oh, that that's it. And then in the Absalom line, it's like, um, you know, when he, uh, Henry and uh, the other, who's a, uh, Charles Bond, yeah, right, yeah. where they're riding out, he says, uh, Charles Bond, go, or Henry goes, I'm your brother, and Charles, you're, you're my brother, and he goes, no, I'm not, I'm just a fucking, and that fucked your sister. Right, right, right. 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 It's a crazy line. Right, right, Your right. Faulkner's crazy. Yeah, he's... See, yeah. but see, that's what that's what I was thinking. That's, I was that's I, funny. I, I, no one writes crazy like, like I know. The, the I mean, dude, the, begin, dude, the, the Bible. Begin, no one's writing yeah. crazy like this. Yeah, just me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, the beginning of uh, yeah, the Jason part is totally crazy. I, you know, I thought I thought it was yeah, kind of controlling the people with the with the money. And yeah, the I think slaves. that that's like, probably part of it. That's 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 what he's going he sees. I like that that. Yeah, because that's funny. That's on Crucifixion Friday, <laughs> dude. This is so crazy. Yeah. Exactly. It yeah. starts out, once a bitch, always a bitch, what I say. Jason talking. <laughs> I says you're lucky if her playing playing out of school is all that worries you. He's talking about, you know? Yeah. I say you're lucky if, if her, you know, missing school is yeah. all that worries you. <laughs> I says she ought to be down in that kitchen right now instead of, instead of up in her room. Yeah. Gobbing pain on her face and waiting for six mm, <laughs> that can't even stand up out of a chair unless they're, they've got a pan full of bread and meat to balance them to fix breakfast to her. And mother says... But the school authorities. Yeah. No, see, Jason's crazy, too, because he's, yeah, he's also, to... like, inept. He's totally inept. Is he? Yeah, because, I mean... No, didn't Benji get castrated? Yeah, he did. Yeah, Benji got No, castrated. no, he's not impotent. Oh, he's not impotent. No, I mean, like, Just, he's... As a human, he's inept. Yeah, he's inept. Mm. Like, he mm. his leadership is out of control, mm. right? He can't even hold on to his cash. Like, the fucking teenage girl steals all his money. Like, he's totally inept as, right, right, right. as the state or whatever it is. Right, right. But... Yeah, once a that, bitch, always a bitch. That battle between yeah the state and the, you know, cause, yeah. I mean, what's really yeah 
I don't know. I guess the the the, the Christ story. I, I I just been. Yeah, I don't really have a good explanation. I yeah. Just, think of that time of year what it could mean for everyone like what does that mean what does that mean to like go out and after be Christ? A, after supper yeah on, on, on Monday thursday like what does that you know like for yeah. every human like every spring you know what i'm saying yeah like what does that mean i've been yeah. thinking about that you yeah know? I, don't, I don't know what the salvation is but i do like the idea of it coming back in a different person yeah in a different way yeah you know? for sure like, something about that no was, i love that i love that me dude no that's um, that's my favorite yeah you know that's and then just formally, like, yeah, it was just reminding me of all, all, all the other shit we we're talking about with the, yeah. with the, uh, the NR and just folding things back on, like, you know, it was, isn't even time until it was like, yeah, it's just, if you really understand that you can't really be moving linear, like things happen over and over again and they're always, they're already passed before you can even figure out what, yeah. the, what, what it was. Yeah. It isn't even time until it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even time until it was. Yeah, that's. But we're in that right now. Is the point? If we don't make that jump, then we're not nobody. We're in. We're in what? We're whoa. We're in the time of year of the of the Easter story. Yeah, we're still in uh, that. You know, the pre-Pentecost time. We cert- definitely are in that, but we're still. In, we're about to end the end, end the first full moon cycle. You know, it's tied to the first yeah. full moon cycle tomorrow. At the, with yeah, that's crazy. Eclipse. That that. Do you remember when the last eclipse was? No. What you were doing? When was that? I looked it up. It was 2017. It was 2017. Seven years ago. It was what August day? 27. August August 20, 20, 2017. August 21, 2017. Mm-hmm. The last I was great in American eclipse. Yeah, I was probably in. Yeah, that that I was just I just had knee surgery. You did? Yeah, yeah, I had knee surgery in June 2017. And then I was just coming out of that. I was trying to be. I was just starting the pod, dude. Wow. Yeah, May, May 2017, yeah. I started it. It's like episode nine or something. I, I found it. Yeah. It's a, it was on Welbeck. It was my first Welbeck pod. The last eclipse made me do a Welbeck what pod. What was your first pod? Ever? Yeah. Uh, it was a solo pod. It was and a solo pod. The second pod, pod was with uh, Viva on damn uh, Food of the Gods by Terrence McKenna. Oh, yeah. Which is also yeah. infamously the first part, pod, like the day we both discovered who Jordan Peterson yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> like it just devolves yeah. half the second half it's just yeah i think we were uh, yeah we were yeah on adderall trying to describe like trying to <laughs> understand who, who, who what's up with this guy yeah. <laughs> is that raft some of those papers we went on, the, on, 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 on rogan for the first time <laughs> we've both day. seen it yeah we're both just like so hierarchies right so so the snake but i guess he that is kind of on the retelling the old story who Jordan, Jordan Peterson. Peterson, yeah, he's always, at his best. At his yeah, best, yeah. when he doesn't get fucking no, because there, there's years. something. There's something about that. Yeah, there's the something re- about that. I'm really on that right now. The retelling um, of the yeah. I don't know, what but I just can't believe. It feels yeah. like Bovary was on. I mean, it, it. Even if that's not a specific old story, that feels like it was an old story. Just you know, the Madame Bovary. Yeah, just woman gets caught up with person gets caught up. Yeah. With materiality, yeah. and that's it's kind of like Don Quixote a little bit, where she, you know, he was reading all them novels, and he right. went out in the world, though, though, to different effects, right? He wasn't deceiving anyone, yeah. You know that you know, Flaubert writing crazy, some woman deceiving everyone, and fucking right, buying right. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, He's he crazy. wild for that, dude. Yeah, I took the, he was the line in uh, Matthew. When he's like shopping is like he's like you should not be wanting to buy more clothes. Like, yeah, wait, in the in, in the Matthew, gospels, yeah. yeah, in the gospels, he was like, yeah, and Matthew, you should not want nicer clothes. Yeah. Like if you do, like that's a sin. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, I guess, yeah, it's just poor. Oh, there, there's a funny, funny scene in, uh, and it's kind of you know you can see like Celine in it. You can see Welbeck in uh, the Flaubert. You can. I feel like yeah. I feel like. You know, especially Celine, like because he's okay. a doctor in, in Journey to the End of the Night, okay, right? Yeah. There's a funny scene where there's this servant or whatever. He mm-hmm. got a club foot, or he works in the stable. He's a stable boy, yeah, right. And uh, the pharmacist got all sorts of ideas about medicine and shit like that. And he just he reads about this surgery to repair a club foot, and he goes to Charles and tells him, "Oh, you you ought to do this surgery on this stable boy." Mm. And he's like, "No, I can't do that." And uh, Emma's like. No, you should because she's thinking in her head, oh, he could get famous with this. Like, Whoa. he could be a high. They'll be talking about it in Paris. 
and they totally fuck up the surgery. <laughs> like yeah. like for a moment it looks like it went well and he's the pharmacist is writing an article about it. He's sending it off to parrots. He's like, he's going to be famous. And then immediately his leg fucking swells up and gets infected and they have to cut yeah. the leg off. Yeah. <laughs> and every time uh, Charles avoids, the guy's walking around with a peg leg now and Charles hears that peg leg coming and he runs. Yeah. <laughs> but Flaubert is implying that it's because of damn. Yeah, fame. Like the, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, I guess the, the overreaches of that, of, yeah. of wanting more than your place. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. Um, yeah, what else about the... You, you know, one uh, book... Uh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, no, what were you saying? No, go ahead. One book that uh, that Nabokov mentions a lot that I was just thinking about on the way up here was is Tolstoy's first book, Childhood. Do you know okay. that book? I, I, don't, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think I do. Yeah, I, don't I never think read I it. Either. I never read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that's one of the looks. Nice. I think that's like an auto-fiction-y. Okay. Auto interesting, f- interesting. You know, Tolstoy wrote down all his sexual ex- escapades mm. and everything he did, and he gave his a journal of his shit to his wife before their wedding day. He did? Yeah, yeah, just and she was, like, fucking devastated about it. Damn. Right before his wedding. He just, just to be savage. Damn. Yeah. And then, it, yeah, he, he, was, he was not very good to her. Is that right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and then he, uh, she typed up all his shit. Right and Tolstoy uh, or Nabokov? No, Tolstoy. Nabokov had a good relationship with the his same wife. Same thing. Vera typed the bullshit. Yeah, but yeah, they they were on a, a close one though. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, they they were they had a good relationship. I yeah. think they were married for like fifty years. Okay, happily. Nice. You know. Yeah. But he but yeah, Nabokov's always going back to this, like in Lolita and Pale Fire and Ada. It's just like. This childhood love thing, right? Like right. Th- this fixation on your first love in childhood. It may it makes you think like he had some girl in Russia before he he had to be exiled. Interesting, right? That he's always writing about. It wasn't Vera. He met her in. States? He met her. No, he met her in Paris. He was still young. He was still young, but he wasn't like he always writing about. Even at Lolita, like, yeah, Humbert Humbert got the girl from way back. Okay, you know, at the beginning of that. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I think he's you know he got a secret. Uh, first love, right? I don't know, but it, he met Vera when he was young too. When he was, he was teaching boxing in Paris. Damn, but I could beat his ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, now what was I gonna say about uh? Yeah, I guess I was thinking about um. Okay, what, what do you think about Faulkner in terms of the auto fiction thing? Are you st- are you looking for traces of his uh, biography when you read it? Um, no, I mean, I think. Well, I, first, I think I think that retelling of the older things is like uh, a way to get past the straight auto fiction. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a way to do the auto fiction without. Can I see that uh, pouch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just without uh, doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but okay. no, I think, I think there's like, like Andrew was saying, disguising yourself. Right. But I, I can't really disguise or I don't know. I think of more like, yeah, the archetypes and then like who plays. Cause that's, that's the like, thing I'm saying, like moving it from the level of this is just auto fiction to this is also telling an archetypal story. No, this, this is what I'm saying, man. This okay. is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that like, that's why I keep saying this stuff about, uh, it being the eclipse right now <laughs> and like because it's like or it's like the thing you were t- you were saying before about uh dante thinking that um he's christ, he's christ in the three days after getting getting crucified or whatever yeah. um right right yeah. and like i i don't know i feel like i feel like there's something to making stuff yeah where well you're kind of you're thinking about things repeating i mean you know in the book in sound of the fury like things yeah. i think he's walking around with the little girl it's reminding me of him of like other encounters like you know before it yeah and that are similar but it's like on a literary level that's kind of going on too you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. like you're reading something that like um it's reminding me of you're putting it your, into, like, conversation with your own shit yeah. yeah 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 so i think definitely you know i mean isn't that the three things? It's like, it's like, 
yeah the self that's like can can be uh cannot succumb like what if it's like this like the 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 self that doesn't succumb to like what the world says you yeah. should do and follow some like inner truth of yeah. like love that's like Jesus you know what i mean yeah. it's like Jesus going out then there's like the person you know the all all this past um transgressions you've done you know yeah. like Quentin you know yeah like, yeah and and then uh, having another force like be able to forgive yourself for that yeah that's like the Mary Magdalene you know what i mean oh. and then the part that's like i got a damn um keep the pure thing you know yeah and you know i gotta um yeah be greedy and fucking let my ego speak through and and, and like yeah. uh you know i mean dude i mean also if we're gonna get into his biography like it doesn't matter if he had a, you know who you know who his fucking sister is yeah his damn wife yeah yeah who he was with a girl all through high school and then she left oh, him because yeah, she thought he was right. gonna be a loser that's right and moved that's right and married him and went yeah. to hawaii and had two children with him, and yeah. then came back after they divorced, yeah. and she was a ruined. Her dress, yeah. her dress was torn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you're she, right, she, you're she, right. And she humiliated him. Yeah, and he nonetheless took her back. Yo, he's Quentin. Faulkner is Quentin. Of course, he's Quentin, bro. <laughs> of course, yeah, I'm Quentin, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we all know this. Yeah, that was a funny thing. I was out that night with those with those boys, right? Yeah. And I, I'm just getting more. I'm I'm uh, spring. I'm yeah. sipping, ranting. <laughs> I got Faulkner in my backpack. I'm yeah. just you know all, all the new truths. You know, yeah, it was yeah. also April 5th, I think, when it was going on. Yeah. I was like, it's all starting tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, but but uh, you know, and then someone asked me, who, who you know, who are you? You know, yeah. And I was just I was just going Quentin. through I was going through many different riffs. Yeah. You know, first I was like obviously Quentin. I was like, nah, dude, I'm Jason. For yeah. Real, <laughs> like, I was like, no, I'm obviously Benji. Dude. Yeah. I'm Benji, really. <laughs> and then I was like, no, nah, but I, but yeah, I, I could be. Yeah, y'all, y'all in the literary world think I'm yeah. Jason, but yeah. See that? that or I'm Cat. Yeah, but I, I'm Benji for yeah. that's what I said. But I could be Caddy sometimes. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, that's the funny. The the only one with um any sense of like real. Because cause Quentin's sense of love or whatever is perverted, obviously, you know, in a certain way. No, okay. Going through a tough time. Yeah. The, the only one with the real sense of that, that encompassing Christian love is Dilsey. Exactly. Right? You know, for whatever but I, it is. But I, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. But, but it, yeah, okay. yeah, you go, you go. Yeah. Does, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that Quentin, like, you know, why, you know, Quentin's not trying to damn mess with that little girl no, this is so not. me this is so me exposing myself oh, so, so, but it was cool when quentin was walking around that little, no yeah. but i think no 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 i agree i agree the bell rang for both of them she was I some agree. precursor to the that that makes me think like uh it's him trying to atone for mm-hmm. the initial like sullyment that's right why, exactly and he's trying to be pure that's why this he time. feels he feels like see and that's funny in the in the christ story it's like christ is totally pure but he has to take on everyone's sins and so Judas is mad at him for sullying the whole purity, right? Washing mm. Mary Magdalene's feet or whatever. Right, right. And but but that's the whole point is that Christ got to be sullied, you know, so that he can die for everyone's sins. For the resurrection, he got to be dirtied. Okay. You know how does he get dirty through Mary Magdalene? No, no, just through he's taking on everyone's sins. Okay. You know, that's yeah. that's it. He's just like that's how he gets dirty. He's a, you know, he never did anything wrong, but he's taking everyone. That, that's why he d- does the heroin of hell and all that. Mm. Cause he took on everyone's sins. Right. Right. You know, I think. Yeah. Or you just, damn. And he's fucking Mary Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got her feet, his, her feet. No, she pours it on his feet. No, thank he him. washes someone's feet. Yeah. He washes, but it's not Mary Magdalene. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. But, uh, but that's what like, yeah, there there was old traditions. I would say he, him, and Mary Magdalene were fucking stuff like that. Right, Heretical right, right. traditions, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's hanging out with the yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Mary, that that's funny. Magdalene comes up in uh, in Bovary because Emma's oh, right? thinking of what to name her daughter, mm. and uh, everyone's saying, "Oh, Magdalene's a popular name now." And okay. and the pharmacist's like, "You can't name her after that whore." Okay, damn. yeah. <laughs> Or someone yeah. says that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's almost like I don't know what the meaning of the story is. Yeah. But I'm interested in the ways. Like, he's interpreting. I don't know. It's like you got you can interpret it in a... It's kind of like how we synopsize stories. Yeah. Or I don't know. I just want that framework for my own shit, I think, you know. Uh, like the... the I shouldn't talk about that, but... Okay. 
Um, no, no, no. Like, yeah, different, different archetypes. You're like, you don't know who, you know, I guess that's, that's really what the Emil Box reading. Like, it's, it's like, you know, he's saying it's like, you're, everyone's everyone. Like, you're yeah. Pontius pilot too. Like, yeah. Pontius pilot like, does the thing. True. And then. Everyone he, is everyone. Yeah. And then, and then he, 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 yeah. he turns and realizes he's innocent the last minute, but then he yeah. just gets overrun by the mob. Like. And they free Barabbas. That ever happened, you know? Yeah, yeah. You ever get overrun by the mob? No, I'm just saying. You yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. isn't that isn't that how you're supposed to read the parables? That's yeah. how I feel like I'm reading the parables. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but you maybe grew up a little more Christian, so you got. Yeah, I mean, I got, got the hard takes. Wow. Yeah, you you did the that that was funny. <laughs> No, Andrew was going. You did the, the non-denomination. Yeah, for non-denominational sure, confirmation. You said I, I, yeah, uh, exactly. I confirm my belief in general Christianity. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> was it was funny. definitely some, some real. But you know, yeah, there was that sick ass, uh, sick ass uh, Gagosian piece on Steiner that I just, I just found and read. Oh yeah. Yeah, goes to the Gertianum. Yeah, he kind of makes the case that like he's way more influential. Then uh, Steiner is, yeah. I see his name like pop up like randomly. Or it's like Sorry. certain art. I mean, obviously, like yeah, yeah. Bella was reading him and stuff, and writes about him, and then yeah, the Tarkovsky connection was crazy. That blew my mind. Yeah, Tar- Tarkovsky written about Steiner. Oh, oh, uh, shit. movie director. Yeah, yeah. And but, that. Uh, no, I don't know, dude. Yeah, did you? Do you ever go through his? Uh, I got his commentary on the Gospel of Mark. Do you ever go you through did? his? Yeah, I didn't no, go through it. I, I read a few pages. It's just it's hard as fuck to understand. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he was just like basic. And, fuck and I just imagine that like those are all lectures to people. But just imagine him lecturing like everyone in the fucking audience. Like, what did he say? Yeah, what is he dude. talking about? People are feeling it, dude. No, for sure. It's uh, yeah. Not got that at the at the Anthroposophy bookstore. It's so crazy on Fifteenth Street. That's you so ever go funny. there? I haven't been there. No, you got to get him to sell fuck boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're an anthroposophist. But damn, dude. Um, what else are you looking at? Um, yeah, I've you been, you're looking at these Ben Lerner poems? Nah, nah. I was just cleaning up. I was looking at those <laughs> a little bit. I was looking. At, I was looking at those a little bit, but not right now. I just been looking at the sound and theory, honestly. Yeah. Reading that slowly, going back to the beginning. Um, yeah, that that's. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, you want to pause real quick? I gotta yeah, let's pee. pause. I gotta pause. Pee. I gotta pee. Let's pause. Oh yeah, I found it. I found it. This this is a this is a, this is the stretch right here. It's like okay, it's right before Julia. It's right before mm-hmm. he gets caught by yeah. Julia. It's like when yeah. all the little girl caddy stuff is reeking. Yeah, stuff, yeah. Right? It's one seventy one to one seventy two. He's like, uh, we went away. Uh, the sun slanted through to the moss here and then leveler, like a leveler. Yeah. More level. Yeah. It's a poor kid, you're just a girl. He's with the girl. A splash them, splash them, goes to the boys. Go on away, Harvard. He's the second boy, he's with the little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's with the little girl. They run back in yeah. three boys. It's like poor kid, you're just a girl. It's like little flowers grew among the moss. Little little littler keeps doing it. Littler than I had ever seen. You're just a girl, poor kid. There was a path curving alongside, along beside the water. Then the water was still again, dark and still and swift. Nothing but thing about the water the whole time. Yeah. Too. And then he goes, nothing but a girl, poor sister, still upright. Uh, okay. Poor sister, then we go high town. Poor sister triggers him. He poor si- poor sister is not night town. No. Oh shit. It's pretty. Yeah. This is quote. Yeah. He tells a girl, poor nothing sister. but a, not, he's walking behind her. She's getting in the water. Yeah. Nothing but a girl, poor sister. Yeah. Farmer spats out, goes high yeah. tell. He goes, we lay in the wet grass, panting. <clears throat> the rain, like cold, shot on my back. Do you care now? Listen, do you care now? Do you? Do you? And then it goes, I was like, they were Yeah. My lord, and then it goes, uh, paragraph, paragraph. Still high tell. My lord, we sure are in a mess. Get up. That's what's in the deal. Where the rain touched my forehead, it began to smart. My hand came red away, streaking off paint in the rain. Does it hurt? End of paragraph? Yeah. No period. Does it hurt? That's what he says to her. I think it was new, new library. Of course it does. What do you reckon? Does it hurt? What is going on? 
blue, that blue leopard. I tried to scratch your eyes out, my lord. We sure do stink. You better try to wash it off in the branch. And that eyes out. Back to the big one. Him talking to the girl again. There's town again, sister. Sultan, you'll have to go home now. I've got to get back to school. We're back real time with the little girl. Yeah. Right? i got to get back to school. Look how late it's getting. Still talking. You'll go home now, won't you? And then he goes, but she just looked at me with her black, secret, friendly gaze. I love how she keeps looking at black, me. Black, secret. secret wow. Secret. And she kept looking at me with, with her black, secret, friendly gaze. The half-naked loaf, loaf clutched to her breast. Whoa. And then he goes, it's wet. The loaf gets wet. He goes, it's wet. I thought we'd jump back in time. Is that what he says? That's what he says. You think of back of, yeah. you know? And he goes, I took my handkerchief and tried to wipe the loaf. But the crust began to come off, so I stopped. That's crazy. Then he goes, we'll just have to let it dry itself. <laughs> Hold it like this. She held it like that. Okay, then that line. You tell a little girl, yeah. hold it like this. She held it That's like crazy. that. It looked kind of like rats had been eating it now. Because he messed it up yeah. trying to dry it with the handkerchief. Whoa. He messed it up That's trying to dry it. Then it goes, then it goes, I tell. Lowercase. Yeah. The first word. Still, same paragraph. Yeah. And the water building and building up. The squatting back. The sloth mud, stinking, surface word, pocking the pattering surface like grease on a hot stove. I told you I'd make you. Line break. I don't give a damn what you do. Then, next line, back to road time. Then we heard running and we stopped and looked back and saw him coming up the path, running, the level shadows flicking on his legs. It's Julio, the cop. Wow. This is the stretch. That's crazy. Man. This is when it... It seems like... But it's so... Isn't it that, so how... So beautiful how... That's so good. Dude, and I, I've seen all of that. That's I've so seen good. all that like a yeah. movie. And I was... And then I was with a... That's uh, crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, that's crazy right? 171, 172. And now, I, now that's where it seems like, uh, you know, they're farting. And then he goes, there's Julio, who's Julius Caesar. Yeah. Caesar. Oh, Caesar. It's Julius but, Caesar. Uh, and he speaks a different language. It That's again. crazy. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's I was crazy. listening to the pod and I thought that I was so mad at myself. Yeah. I mean, that's why I said the pod was trash. I was like, yeah. little dumbass, you don't get any of this shit. Yeah. No, it's see, Julius Caesar. This is the thing you gotta come in with. Uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's great. That it's Monday Thursday. It's Monday Thursday, bro. Wow. And look at this crime, dude. Dude, and he tried. He tried to get. He tried yeah. to drive the bread. Yeah. Like, like he's he all blacked out. He tried to. He tried to yeah, jerk tag. Right. <laughs> he goes, right, he goes, this looks like dead rats eating them now. Right. Shit, yeah. I can't believe I drive. I'm like, I, I reckon you gonna have to just air yeah. that out now. Drying the bread is crazy. The bread by and he scrapes it off. That's so funny. And dude, no, and then the cops come. It's like Jesus in the garden. What I'm saying, dude. Wow. But, you have to, but look how beautiful it is laid out. Yeah. Like, and now, the, like, yeah, that's this is crazy. Dude, dude, look at this. Yeah. That's, that's well, right so before that, that's right so before good. that, you keep your nasty old hands off me. It was your fault. You pushed me down. And I'm mad at you. Wow. See, this is this is the evidence page. He goes, I don't care. She looked she looked at us. Stay bad. She went away. It's like we began to hear shouts, the splashing. So they're already coming. Yeah. Wow. They're already coming wow. before this. Wow. We were dancing sitting down. I bet Caddy can't dance sitting down. Stop that, stop that. I was just brushing the trash off her back with her dress. Wow. Yeah, this is that's the, crazy. This is the period. This is that's the crazy. 169, 169. And with the Absalom evidence, too, you got some evidence. That's what I'm evidence. saying, bro. That's, that's crazy. Saying. That's crazy. 